Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the TeacherCast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and if you are watching this video today, you're probably asking yourself, how do I do live broadcasting with my students? Now, this is a question that I get asked each and every time I do a professional development session, and today I have probably the easiest answer that I have ever given before, and I'm excited to share with you today on TeacherCast. And welcome back to TeacherCast. Today we're going to be deep diving into the easy way to do live broadcasting with your students. Now, in the past, you might have seen videos from TeacherCast all about using these complex broadcast switchers, expensive cameras, lots of equipment. You don't need that. Even last year when I made a video using a great application called StreamYard, I got to tell you, it works. I like it. But there's a better answer. And you know what it is? Microsoft Teams. I know it is an amazing application that it can be used for so many things from file sharing, communication, staff intranets. But did you know it is absolutely, in my opinion, the best live broadcasting platform? Let's take a look. So here we are in Microsoft Teams, and you can see that I'm in the calendar app. What we want to do is to create an online meeting where there's a host that has a series of controls, but we have participants that don't have a lot of rules. Microsoft Teams offers a variety of different methods to do online meetings. If you click up on the top right, we can schedule a meeting or we can schedule a webinar, but we want to do something a little bit different. To start this, I'm going to go into any one of the event options here, and I'm going to create a brand new meeting. And here I am in Microsoft Teams. I have a new meeting. I'm going to just add a few details. I've got my new meeting, and I'm going to say, here are the details. Now, when we first create this in Microsoft Teams, it doesn't look like much. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save. And you notice here is my new meeting. Pretty simple, pretty basic. But this is where the power of Microsoft Teams comes in and where you can use it for live broadcasting. I'm going to click back into the meeting and I'm going to click on reoccurring. And I'm going to say every weekday, Monday to Friday. I'm going to click on save again so we can see what that looks like. You'll notice now that I have a reoccurring meeting every single day at the same time. This not only allows us to create one meeting once, but you no longer have to create a meeting ever again for your live broadcast, saving you a lot of time. Let's dive back into this meeting. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a required attendees list. This might be your classroom teachers. This might be a group. This might be your building Microsoft team. Let's just create a new attendee list right now. So here I am. I have one attendee and I'm going to hit the save button one more time to send an update. You'll notice that Teams is spinning a little bit. There's a lot more information that's on here. And so now I have my new meeting and I have who it's from. I'm going to click back here into my meeting. And now I've opened up a brand new world of Microsoft Teams. You'll notice things are a lot different. I now have a link to join a Teams meeting, but I also have a ton of information up here. I've got a scheduling assistant, meeting notes, a whiteboard attendance, breakout rooms, files, and chat. So much of Microsoft Teams gets updated and unlocked when we create an event with somebody else. But I'm going to click on one more button that's hiding here. I'm going to click on meeting options. So here I am in the meeting options area. This opens up your browser and opens up a new tab in your browser. And now I can set this up for my live broadcasting. What we want to do is we want to create an environment where the user, the performer, has access to tools so they can talk to each other and be the stage. But your users, your teachers, your, your people who are in your school can't interact with each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to say who can bypass the lobby and we're going to say only people I invite. And this is going to be for the students that you're working with, the teacher, maybe your principal. So I'm going to click in here, people I invite. Always let callers bypass the library. No. Announcement callers join or leave. I'm going to say no because I don't want to know when all these teachers are popping in and out. Who can present? This is going to be specific people because, I, again, I'm going to say only these students or only these teachers are going to have presentation rights. 
I'm going to say allow mic for attendees. No, that means that the people watching your live broadcast can't speak to. We don't want that for this exa example. Over here, allow. We don't want this for this example. Allow camera for attendees. Again, I'm going to say no. I'm trying to create a stage here. I don't want people to be able to see, to hear, to talk. I just want this to be a passive experience. Record automatically. Yes, I want to have an archived recording. Now, do I want to allow meeting chat? No. Do I want to have reactions? Yes. No, you can make that decision, but I'm going to say no. And do I want to provide cart captions? I'm going to say no. Cart captions is a way to have a third party do translations for your event. So now that all of that is done, it automatically saves for me. And I'm going to jump back in to Microsoft Teams. All right, here I am back in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to hit send update one more time. You'll notice that each and every one of my meetings is now updated. If I click back into here, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy the link and I'm going to share this with everybody in my school. So here we are in a Microsoft Teams meeting and this looks a little weird. So let's explain what's going on. In the screen on the left, this is our presenter's view. Up here on the top, you'll see my little picture. Hello. This is me as a presenter, and what I'm looking at here are all of the people who I'm having a meeting with. Now, this will be replaced by any slide decks or any screen shares or anything that you're actually broadcasting. But because this is a meeting, this is going to actually allow your students to interact with each other. Over here on the right, you can see that this is me in full presentation mode. So the right is what my students, my teachers, my rooms would be looking at. And of course, you can see that here I am in full high definition glory. You'll also notice that down here on the right, if I click on show conversation, it says the conversation has been turned off. And again, this allows you to have a broadcast with your school and people aren't chatting back and forth. They're focused on exactly what's going on. Now, there is one more great thing here about being in a presentation mode in Microsoft Teams. You'll notice that I've got some things in my background, maybe a student's at home or sitting in the hallway or sitting at a studio that doesn't quite look as professional as it could. We can always go up here into Microsoft Teams on the three dot menu, click on backgrounds, and now we can put our students and put our broadcasters anywhere that we want. We can click over here, we can click apply, and suddenly we're in a classroom, we're in a new studio, and if you create your own custom banner, you can do anything that you need to and put your students all around the world. So as you can see, Microsoft Teams is an amazing platform, not just for file sharing and communication, but to also quickly and easily create live morning announcements and live broadcasts for your school, community, or any kind of organization. If you're looking for more information about this, there's going to be a link right in the description below. Don't forget to click on it. It takes you to a TeacherCast blog post with all the descriptions of how to do this and every single setting that you need to click off. Well, that wraps up this episode of the TeacherCast Educational Network. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe this video. We certainly love having you guys as part of the TeacherCast Educational Network. So on behalf of everybody here on TeacherCast, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.